you're watching Shalom World News. I'm Donna Villa coming to you from Chicago, Illinois. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. A fire broke out in the 19th century church in Wasm, northern France, on the evening of Monday, May 3rd. Thankfully, there are no casualties and the building is more or less intact as the flames were brought under control within no time. According to the prefect of Eau de France, Michel Hollande, an investigation will be undertaken to determine the cause of the fire which broke out in the Church of St. Peter and Paul in central Lille. Firefighters were alerted at 8 p.m. local time about the fire in the church, which is located to the town square. The French interior minister, Gérald Darmanet, expressed solidarity with the residents of Lille as well as the Catholics. Over the past few years, several churches in France has been damaged in fire outbreaks and many of the incidents are believed to be the result of arson. In conflict-torn Ethiopia, a delegation of the church has visited North Shoa, which witnessed violence recently, to take stock of the situation. The delegation led by Abba Teshome, who is the Secretary General of the Bishops' Conference of Ethiopia, found that ethnic clashes have occurred in five parts of the area, leaving hundreds dead and displacing more than 250,000 people. The intervention of the government, Red Cross, and civil society has helped mitigate the suffering of the victims to a certain extent. The delegation has promised that the church will work for peace and continue to comfort the families of victims. The delegation is also exploring ways to provide food, medicine, kitchen utensils, and stoves to displaced people. A city in West Texas in the U.S. has given approval to a measure aimed at outlawing abortion. Residents of Laubach voted on Saturday, May 1st, to declare the city as a sanctuary for the unborn, bypassing the city council's rejection of the proposal in 2020. Although the proposal received 62% votes, it remains unclear if it would come into effect. In Republican-dominated cities and states, there have been similar measures with the hope of leading the U.S. Supreme Court to reconsider the landmark Roe v. Wade judgment. Meanwhile, there are reports that the American Civil Liberties Union of Texas might take legal action to oppose the move of Laubach. Quote, the ACLU will continue to fight to protect the fundamental rights of the people of Laubach, said attorney Drasilla Tigner. In Indonesia, the region of Papua has been witnessing an escalation of violence ever since the government decided to declare two local outfits as terror organizations. Condemning the violence, Father Martin Kuayo, the apostolic administrator of Tamika Diocese, has appealed for peace in the region. In a statement issued on May 1st, Father Martin urges, quote, restraint in order to find a dignified, humane, open, and respectful solution together. He also added that the Catholic Church is concerned about the surging insurgency in the region after the government's decision to designate the West Papua National Liberation Army and the Free Papua Movement as terrorist outfits on April 29th. This comes after separatist rebels killed the chief of Papua Intelligence Agency. The church has also expressed concern over innocent civilians losing their lives in the conflict. Once again, the worrying demographic decline of Italy is in the limelight with the Holy Father scheduled to open a meeting on May 14th to study the challenge of a, quote, a demographic winter. Organized by the Forum of Family Association, the meeting is a first of its kind in Italy. Association President Gianluigi De Paolo said, dipping birth rates represent a national tragedy, and he expressed hope that the May 14th meeting will be an opportunity to explore ways to tackle this crisis. The Vatican Press Office Director Matteo Bruni has confirmed that Pope Francis would virtually attend the meeting session and deliver a speech from an auditorium in the Vatican. The Holy Father has repeatedly expressed concern about declining birth rates in Italy and across Europe. Italy registered 439,747 births in 2018, 
and it fell to 420,084 in 2019. The Holy Father has exhorted altar servers to, quote, offer Jesus your hands, your thoughts, and your time. He said this in a letter addressed to the president of the Portuguese Bishop's Commission for Liturgy and Spirituality, Bishop José Manuel Garcia Cordero. On May 1st, acolytes from across the nation undertook the 25th National Pilgrimage to the Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima, reminding acolytes that their services are a, quote, profession of faith for the community. The Holy Father urged them to confirm their interior and exterior attitudes in accordance with the sanctity of the holy things they are serving. The pontiff also entrusted altar servers to St. Joseph and exhorted them to confidently invoke and zealously imitate the guardian of the Holy Family and patron of the Universal Church. On World Press Freedom Day, which is commemorated on May 3rd, the Holy Father has called for building and strengthening the powerful instrument of media for the common good. His appeal comes amid a report from media watchdog Reporters Without Borders, which says that there has been a decline in press freedom around the world with the introduction of harsh laws to enforce lockdowns. The report says almost 75% of countries block the media in some form or the other during the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. The watchdog also says that Africa continues to be the most dangerous place on earth for media personnel. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, too, has said that situation of journalists continue to worsen. The Holy Father approved the canonization of seven candidates during the consistory on Monday, May 3rd. They include the first lay martyr of India, Devisahayam Pillai, and hermit Charles de Foucault, who was killed for the faith in Algeria. However, the date of canonization is yet to be finalized because of the pandemic. Devisahayam Pillai was born into an aristocratic Hindu family in South India in the 18th century. He earned the wrath of high caste Hindus after embracing Catholicism and was killed for the faith in 1752. He will be the first Indian lay martyr to be canonized. Three priests who founded religious orders, Cesar de Bos, Luigi Maria Palasolo, and Giustino Maria Rosolilio, and the foundresses of two congregations, Maria Francesca de Giso and Maria Dominica Mantovani, will also be canonized. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us tomorrow. In the meantime, visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.